So this is the uh, the Motorola Atrix, which we announced at CES uh, last month, and this won the best smartphone award of, of the show. But really, it's not just about the smartphone; it's about pushing the smartphone into the mobile computing space, so replacing your laptop or your desktop, but also into the media space and replacing your media center in your home. And I'll take you through a demo of all of that with these different accessories behind us. But to start with, really focusing on the device, uh, this device is the most powerful smartphone in the world. It's got a dual-core NVIDIA chipset on it, running two one-gig processors. But also it supports a whole gig of PC-grade RAM also on top of that. So really having that, it encompasses it as a PC in your hand. It's got 16 gig on board memory and it's got another 32 gig optional with an SD card so you can effectively get 48 gig on, on this device. From a screen point of view this is a QHD high definition screen. We've gone for the LCD technology because you get uh, true RGB colour accuracy with it um, but also from a battery life performance point of view it's far better with, with LCD. On the back we've got a fingerprint reader so you simply just stroke your finger across the, the reader and that would open up the device, it makes it very easy to use especially when it's in some of the docks, you just swipe the finger and automatically it opens. You've also got a 5 megapixel camera on the back and a, a flash, a dual LED flash. On the front we've got another camera, um, that allows you to do video calling so we preloaded the, the quick application. And as you can see, this really is the most powerful you know, smartphone in the world, but it's really about pushing this into the mobile computing space, and I'll, I'll show you that. So this is like the, the home environment. We've got a HD multimedia dock here. We've got a connection with HD cable in the back to the HD uh, screen. Obviously power, and then three USB ports in the back. So what I've connected here is a, a mouse to USB and a keyboard, but in essence you could have this as a wireless keyboard with a dongle in the back, or you could actually pair it physically with the device and then sit back from, from your TV. It would also support memory sticks in the back, so if you plug in a memory stick in the environment that I show you, you can then access that, that content. So you simply just dock the device, and it brings up an option uh, for WebTop. Now, WebTop is the Motorola software, which is running on Linux, which is embedded on the actual device. And what that does is it gives you the, the WebTop um, environment, which I'll take you through. It's dormant when you're using it as a smartphone, but as soon as you connect it to these two accessories, you get the whole, whole WebTop environment. So on the, on the left-hand side here, um, we've got the mobile view, and that really is just virtualizing the physical smartphone to uh, the mobile view, and it allows you to do everything you would do normally um, with your phone. You can send and receive text messages, you can get a call that comes in, you can click accept, you can pipe the audio through your sound system, and then obviously your uh, voice and company go through the speakerphone, or you just put a headset in and sit back from the device. But what's really um, critical on the web top and what's unique is this browser. So this is not virtualizing the browser that's on the device. This is a PC-grade browser that is embedded within WebTop and is initiated when you connect it to the HD Multimedia Lab. Now, what that does is really opens up the ability for the consumers to replace their laptops because now they can do everything on their uh, WebTop browser that they would do on their PC browser. And everything is moving to the cloud. So Office Live can get full editing capabilities for a browser. You've got uh, Google Docs, you've got Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Spotify. There's so many different companies out there where all the content is on there. So from the research we've done, that's the way it's moving. That's where it's already moved. People are just using browser-based um, computing. Now on the top here it's the usual things you'd expect on a PC and then on the settings you can then also do some printers, so you can set up a printer and then print off to um, a wireless printer in your home or, or the office environment. On the bottom here these are shortcuts to the mobile view, so if I click on that it will then open up a tab and it makes it very easy to go back and forward between, between them. The file manager maps your internal storage, it will also map your SD card if you had one in the device, and also the memory stick if you had a memory stick plugged in the back. So say for example I wanted to edit a, an Excel document, a view of PowerPoint, it will automatically open it up in Quick Office on the actual mobile view, and then you can actually rotate it, make it full screen, you can use that for presenting or just doing some uh, minor editing to your document, and you can then use that offline and on the go as well on, on the device. But obviously if you want further capabilities, then as I said, you could use Office Live through the browser and that will give you even more of a capability to, to do editing. So if you're in that blown up view and let's say you get a phone call coming in, yeah. what happens there? Um, up the top here you get, um, if the phone call came in, you get accept or reject or mute. You just click it and then you, if it Bluetooth up, you just carry on. 
Same thing with SMS as well, and email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these uh, SMS will pop up here, the notification. Click on that, it will then bring that to the forefront. And you can then click on it and open up, open up the uh, text message. Now, we've also added in here um, a Citrix receiver. Um, and the reason we've done that is for corporates uh, or enterprises that want a Windows-based solution. Um, this will also support that. So, I've got a dummy account set up. Purely that is a URL, um, which opens up a login page. The same way as if you logged in in the morning on your PC at home. And then what it does, it initiates the Citrix receiver and pulls down a full um, Windows 7 uh, desktop.